Hi, I'm Patrick Anderson, and today I want to talk about all the heat surrounding the Mustang Mach-E. In all honesty, I think a lot of people love the Mustang Mach-E. A lot of people are excited by it. There's over 50,000 orders in for the Mach-E already. So there's a lot of love for what's coming out from Ford, but there is also a lot of hate surrounding this new vehicle. I think in general, the hate is coming from two different camps, the current Mustang lovers, as well as Tesla owners. Let's take a look at the Mustang part of this. If you look at a lot of articles that are posted about the Mach-E or videos from Ford about the Mach-E, down in the comments, you'll find a lot of comments about, it's not a Mustang, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. And there's even a petition on change.org, I think it's up to about 15,000 people that are trying to get Ford not to use the Mustang name on the Mustang Mach-E. If you're familiar at all with Mustangs, you know that the owners and enthusiasts are very loyal to the brand. It was first introduced back in 1964, has been in continuous production since then. They've sold over 10 million Mustangs. And for most people, Mustang means a two-door coupe or fastback or convertible that has a nice long hood, a V8 engine, and is just plain old fast. But you also know that it's not always a V8 engine. Sometimes there's a four cylinder, a six cylinder, four cylinder turbo. There have been some slight variations in that winning formula. But throughout the years, the look of a Mustang has stayed very similar. You can always tell a Mustang coming down the road and that's what people love and that's what they don't want changed. It seems like every time Ford goes through a redesign of the Mustang, there's a bunch of people that don't like whatever the new design is. So I think that's part of it. The Mustang Mach-E is very different from anything that we've seen before in the Mustang line, and people just don't wanna see that change. Of course, going from a front engine rear wheel drive to an electric vehicle is a huge change, and I get that. But I think a lot of people are really upset that the, the new Mustang Mach-E is gonna have four doors and be an SUV. For anyone that is upset, I think one of the first things you should remember is that the current Mustang is not going away. In fact, it's on the sixth generation right now, and Ford is already working on the seventh generation, you know, typical Mustang with the front engine, rear wheel drive, just like you've always known and loved. So why would Ford even use the Mustang name on this SUV that could, couldn't they have called it the Escape or the eSport or some other name? Sure, but I think by using the Mustang name, it did a few things. First of all, I'm sure like if you're an engineer working for Ford, the fact that you get assigned to anything that has the Mustang name on it probably is a bit more exciting and you're probably a lot more enthusiastic to make sure it's like goes above and beyond anybody's expectations. And for marketing purposes, Ford couldn't do anything better than use the Mustang name. Instantly, that gets it a lot of attention in the press from not only automotive journalists, but pretty much anybody in the world that's ever heard of a Mustang, seen a Mustang in a movie, they take note that the new Mustang is gonna be electric and it's gonna be an SUV. So I think it was a brilliant move by Ford to get a lot of attention, a lot of free publicity for their new venture. At the same time, I think it also put a lot of pressure on Ford. If you put the Mustang label on a new electric car, this thing has to be good. It has to look very nice, it has to look like a Mustang, and it has to perform pretty darn good. If you look at some of the videos that Ford has put online, there's one in particular where they show how they did a lot of the development of the new Mach-E using the Ford racing simulator down in North Carolina. Although this new variation of the Mustang will be electric and an SUV, they wanted it to perform like a Mustang. The engineers that worked on the Mach-E talked a lot about how they tweaked the performance of the Mach-E, so it feels like you're behind the wheel of a real Mustang. Of course, the Mach-E won't have a V8 in it, but the performance will be surprisingly fast and I think it will compare to a lot of those famous V8 engines. In the end, I think it's just a very positive thing that Ford chose to use the Mustang name on the Mach-E. I remember the first time that I heard that Porsche was gonna make an SUV and I had pretty much the same reaction. It's a little bit of a shock, but now looking back, it's just like another Porsche. It fits in their lineup and you see that Porsche logo on the front and you sort of assume that it's gonna be a high performance SUV. I think the same thing will apply to the Mustang Mach-E. In addition to the hate coming from Mustang enthusiasts, I also see some hate coming from Tesla owners. Without question, for years, Tesla has been leading the industry and they make some great vehicles from the Model S to the Model Y and everything in between. Tesla has a reputation for high-tech, fast, fun vehicles. In the past few years, 
There's been a few more electric vehicles making it to market, but I don't think any of them have reached the enthusiasm that people have for Tesla. But since the Mach-E has been released, I've noticed that Tesla owners are sort of upset about any competition coming its way. Now, whether the Mach-E is better than the Model Y or the Model 3 or vice versa, that's for another video. This part of the video is just about the hate that I've sort of seen from Tesla fans that have made comments, whether it's in the Reddit forums or on my videos that I've released. One of the most common criticisms is Ford is trying to copy Tesla. And to some extent, that's true. But that's sort of what you would expect if you make a great product. Everybody's gonna to try to copy what you're doing because what you're doing is working. It doesn't take anything away from the great product that you have. Does it mean that your product is any less valuable? It's a form of flattery. And when you make an EV, if you're trying to make one of the best, it needs to have a range that's similar to a Tesla. It needs to have technology built in that's similar to a Tesla. And that's exactly what Ford is doing. If Ford or VW or anybody that's making a new EV doesn't try to compete with Tesla, they're just shooting themselves in the foot. So I would expect them to do that and try to beat them at their own game if they can. So in the end, I guess this video is more of like a, can we all just get along type of video. If you're a current Mustang owner, a Mustang fan, keep buying those Mustangs. I love them just as much as you do. Although I don't own one, I haven't owned one. Many people in my family have owned Mustangs with the nice V8. My mom owned a 65 Mustang. My dad had a 69 Mustang. Had brothers that owned uh, the Fox-based Mustangs in the 70s and 80s. So it's like, I like the Mustangs. That's one of the reasons why I consider the Mach-E. But just for me, the two-door uh, current Mustang just doesn't work with my lifestyle. It, I wouldn't be able to buy one if it weren't an SUV. And for all the Tesla fans, if you love your Tesla, that's great. Doesn't mean that the Mach-E isn't also a great vehicle. And not everybody wants the same thing. I personally don't like the look of the Tesla Model Y compared to the Mach-E. But if you like the Model Y better, that's great. We all have our preferences, whether it's from clothes to shoes, whatever we like, it's what we like. And that's nothing more that can be said, really. So that's all I really have to say on the subject. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you hate the Mustang name? Do you hate the fact that it's an SUV or that it's electric? And if you're a Tesla fan, are you mad at Ford for trying to duplicate what Tesla has done? Whatever your thoughts, just leave a short comment below and I'll try to respond as much as I can. And if you are a Mach-E fan, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. I'll be releasing more videos in the next few weeks with more Mach-E news and information. And hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have a Mach-E that will be my own and I can give you lots of insider videos.